So I just read Spear of the Emperor by ADB and wow, that was quite the experience. The book follows on the Astartes of the Mentors chapter. He is sent on a mission to travel to the Imperium Nihilus to observe how the Emperor Spear's chapter is doing. But the story is not told from his perspective, but from the perspective of Anuradha Das, one of his human servants. Or mostly human I should say, as she is quite heavily augmented for a servant. The Space Marine soon joins up with a group of Emperor Spears to fight against the Exilarchy, a massive and intimidating group of Chaos Worshippers. And the rest you will have to read for yourself. Fuck me, this novel is raw, really not what I expected from a Space Marine novel. I expected some heroic action with some classic ADB humor, but instead this novel is an extremely dark and realistic take at modern 40k, set in the dark side of the Imperium. The sheer intensity of this novel is insane. In an interview ADB said that he interviewed a lot of people that had been through horrific events to prepare for writing this novel, and it really shows. This book doesn't just skim over all the horrors of war, but instead sets out to show you exactly how fucked up everything is. Already right off the bat we start off with a short recollection of the sheer amount of death, suffering and panic that was required to pass through the Great Rift, and trust me, it only gets worse from there. Many other novels would skim over the deaths of menials, but not this novel. Here every death is described in vivid, horrific detail. Combat as well is not filled with one-liners and heroic charges as usual. No, there's smoke everywhere and all order soon falls apart once the fighting begins. There are scenes of panicking humans crawling through the mushed corpses of their comrades in a vain attempt to get to safety. I'm used to seeing and reading quite some fucked up shit, but this novel feels so real I couldn't help but feel a little shocked at what I was reading at some points. The fact that we get a human perspective here also greatly contributes to this factor. Oh by the way, if you thought the combat was the worst of it, then you thought wrong. There's also horrific descriptions of what it's like in a chaos slave camp, complete with all the torture you would expect. Combined with a very personal diary style of writing, this results in a really terrific end product. Then finally, just in case all of that didn't make you flinch, there's also some truly heartbreaking emotional scenes. ADB always does a great job of creating characters that the reader will care about, only for him to then put these characters through the most fucked up shit imaginable. Altogether, this novel is quite the ride on the emotional roller coaster. Another great thing this novel does is flesh out the Dark Imperium setting. ADB had a unique opportunity here to flesh out this part of the setting, as there were very few in-depth stories from this side of the Great Rift, and he did a great job in my opinion. The Dark Imperium feels like a lost cause where almost all hope has disappeared and where humanity is confronted with one horror after another. It really feels like a unique setting separated from the pre-Rift 40k setting. There are also some other very interesting things that are fleshed out and some very intriguing dilemmas that were covered, but I sadly can't say what without spoiling the book for you. What's also quite impressive is that it does all of this without feeling like an exposition piece. The pacing remains at an excellent level that firmly grabs your attention. The characters were interesting enough and definitely above Black Library average, but not on the level of First Claw from the Night Lord trilogy. Where the novel instead shines is in its novel Space Marine chapters that were introduced in the novel. The mentors are extreme by the book perfectionists that usually function as commanders of human forces. The spears are somewhat barbaric, but they make up for it by forming a true brotherhood, a bit of a strange crossbreed between Luna Wolves, White Scars and Space Wolves. And then finally the Celestial Lions, who really can seem to catch a break. Especially the interactions and developments between the clashing culture of the Mentors and the Emperor Spears was great to read about. Then let's close off with some final remarks. There is some of ADB's characteristic humor in the book, and those scenes were indeed pretty hilarious. But they are few and far between. This is a far more serious book than usual. Furthermore, Spear of the Emperor doesn't hold the Imperium in very high regard, so if you're a die-hard Imperium fan, you might be a tad offended by it. But I think that it's a nice change of pace from the usual Imperial propaganda. Then finally, while I can't say much about the plot without spoilers, the structure was quite unique and there were some pretty good twists. All in all, this book gets a very well-deserved 5 out of 5 Spears. Keep in mind this book is absolutely not meant as light reading material. But if you're not too bothered by that, then I can't recommend this book enough. Never before have I read a Black Library book that felt so intense, so raw, so real. Truly a unique entry into the Black Library. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Red and the Earth. Mm -hmm.